Okay. So uh, today at the, in the Corning booth, we're uh, looking at Corning Gorilla Glass 3 with native damage resistance. And we have a demonstration here today to highlight the retained strength of Corning Gorilla Glass 3 with NDR, but taking it one step further this year at CES by going as thin as 0.4 millimeters thick. And what we're going to have here is a demonstration that shows going from very thick sodaline glass at 1.6 millimeters to an alternative alumina silicate which is on the market at 0.8 millimeters and then taking that thickness down even one more <laughs> half to 0.4 millimeters with Gorilla Glass 3. Now what we've done with these samples is we've put scratches in them. They're all getting the same scratch with a 5 newton load um, with the same diamond tip. And what we're going to show is the, is the uh, retain strength of going so thin, even with that damage present, we still have very high retain strength with Gorilla Glass 3. So we're going to start out with a 1.6 millimeter piece of soda line glass. You can see the scratch right in the center of the circle here. And I'm going to load this onto this, um, this press. And I'm going to push right on the scratch. And what you're going to see on the uh, scale here is the load in pounds that's being put down onto that scratch. And I'm just going to go ahead and push this here. You can see that about 33 pounds was the max load that that sample could withstand before it broke. Now we can do the same test where we have the same, the same scratch, but we're going to go thinner with an alternative alumina silicate glass. This is at 0.8 millimeters. Same scratch, we're going to load this up. This one breaks at 17 pounds. So it's not a surprise to us that as we go thinner, the load bearing capacity of any material tends to get weaker. So it would be a little lower than the thicker soda lime sample, but that's quite low for the retained strength and you can see the fracture. Now we have a piece of 0.4 millimeter Gorilla Glass 3. Again, the same loaded scratch, 0.4 millimeters, so we're half as thick as the alternative alumina silicate and way thicker, four times thicker than the thinner than the, uh, uh, than the soda lime sample. So we'll put this sample into our press. Go ahead and load that up. We're well past both the soda lime and the alternative alumina silicate. We can take this sample well up over 200 pounds. You can look at the deflection, the way that glass is flexing with that scratch in it. And it still will not break well over 200 pounds. So that's the, that's the native damage resistance and the retained strength of Gorilla Glass 3 at 0.4 millimeters. And this is great for your mobile devices and other applications. We have another demo over here which I'd like to show you. Which is meant for our one of our new products we're offering, which is Corning Gorilla Glass NBT. And what NBT is for is for the notebook market space. As, as uh, notebooks become more and more touch enabled, the interactions with the displays really requires a damage resistant glass to be present. One of the products that you see on the market quite heavily today is a soda lime glass at 0.7 millimeters thick. So I have a sample here of a mock-up of a display. And what we've done with this is we've actually put a scratch up in the upper corner here. And just to give you a sense, these were five Newton scratches in the other demo that I showed you. These are 300 gram scratches. Very light, and what we did here is we're simulating the fact that we understand that notebooks, they don't quite see the same handling as a phone does. We have what here simulates 300 grams being a very light cleaning on your surface. And if you have particles in your cleaning cloth, that could lead to scratches. We have a scratch right here in the center of the soda lime sample. I'm just gonna show you how poorly that retains its strength with that scratch present. Very simple to break. I barely flex this sample. If you look at some of the notebooks on the market, you can do that kind of flexure in a device very easily. We have the same exact scratch, 300 grams in our Gorilla Glass NBT sample. We're at 0.4 millimeters again. We put the same scratch in the upper corner. I want to note it's very difficult to see the scratch and that's because of the native damage resistance. And we can try to do the same bending and you're not going to get that to break. Now the second thing that's very important for notebook applications that are touch enabled is the edge performance of the glass. And one of the things that you'll see as you look at soda lime glass is that you can have also very low edge performance. If I take this pencil and just do a little pushing on it a couple different ways, I can break this very easily as I go around. And let's just say you were to make the mistake of closing your lid of your laptop on something, very easy. 
pretty easy to break. That's not what anybody necessarily wants to have on their invested notebook. We can do those same things with Gorilla Glass NBT. We can push on it. We can try to get the edges to break. We can hit it. We can flip it over. We can push on it. You're not going to get it to break. So this is the added value of Gorilla Glass NBT, native damage resistance of Gorilla Glass 3 as well, for other applications that are growing in the market.